In this video, I give first impressions and some sample art of the Koei Noir 13 multicolor pencils. The magic multicolor pencils. It has 12 real pencils and one that's just a blender. As you can see, they're all three in one colors. Unfortunately, the label is not on the pencil, which I think is not a good idea. But they are as follows. Sahara Sun, Orange Flower, Pomegranate, Poppy Flower, Strawberry Ice Cream, Forest Violets, Water World, Quiet Twilight, Forest, forest Stillness, Rainforest, Australian Bush, and Titanium Metal. This is me showing the blender before I realized it was just a blender when I thought it was more of a white color. The Sahara Sun is three tones of yellow that don't look very different from each other. The orange flower has a little more variance, more of a yellow orange to two shades of similar orange. Pomegranate is two oranges and a pink, with one being a very reddish orange and one being more of an orangey orange. The poppy flower is more of three shades of red, including more orangey reds. Strawberry ice cream is three shades of pink that are more truly strawberry ice cream tones. Forest violets is a pink and two purples, one being more bluish and one being more reddish. Waterworld is three shades of blue, more on the paler side. Quiet Twilight is three shades of blue, but very much more on the violet, dark, purpley side. Forest stillness is three shades of green, including a very yellowish green. And Rainforest is more bluish, dark greens. Australian Bush is three shades of brown, one more orangey, one more middle, and one more a bluish brown. And Titanium Metal is three shades of gray, one being almost totally black, and one being a pale gray, and one being more of a middle darkish gray. Here I am trying them all out on this black tester paper that I've been using for years. They show up, but they don't show up fantastic on the black paper. That's what I found from my testing. Actually, double checking the pomegranate, it's actually a red, a yellow, and a pink on the tip, which is an interesting mix of colors. Some of them are more similar and some of them are more different to each other, but I find them all fun to use and really easy to pick up and have an inspira inspiring time. I'm cutting apart the blender pencil to show how much of the end, which is quite long, is actually empty and does not feature any lead. The lead itself in the middle is quite thick and round, and after doing the math, I still think they're worth the price. But just be aware that the color inside does not go all the way to the end. It only goes part of the way. So as you can see from me cutting it off here, that's how much of the pencil is not lead. It only goes to there. That's how much is just empty wood or solid wood. So don't be deceived into thinking that the lead goes all the way to the end of the pencils. But as I said, this is me trying out the blender as well, as I said I did the math and I still think they're worth the money and I do like how thick the leads are on this variant of them, which is the magic variant. They also have a rounded triangular barrel, which once you get used to is actually kind of good on your wrists and easy to use. Here I am using the forest violets to draw some sort of strange tree serpent monster, some sort of mythological tree worm creature and I'm also using the strawberry ice cream pencil as well. You can use multiple pencils of these and I've also been experimenting by using them with the other magic pencils and every other color pencil I own as well as using them with watercolor and gouache so that you can get mixed media effects. I find them really fun and quick to use and quite interesting so you get a bit of a variance in what the colors you use. I'm finding the leads to be good for blending and layering, and I'm finding them really fun in sketchbooks and for inspiring artworks. It's easy to get lots of different tones and variants, as well as to intentionally get many colors in an artwork, which in some ways can make things more realistic. I'm testing out the blender pencil here even more, just to make sure that I like it. In general, I prefer not to necessarily use a blender pencil, and more often than not when I do colored pencil, I'll put a sketch down, then I'll watercolor, then once the watercolor is dry I can do more colored pencil or layers of watercolor and gouache. I like to use colored pencil in mixed media and not necessarily by itself, although lately I've been finding these multicolored pencils so much fun I've been doing a lot of sketches and artwork that is just using colored pencil, as well as been sketching with my other colored pencils. 
I also find it's interesting that these are very waxy and they don't move with water. So if you use them in conjunction with water soluble media, the lines you place with these aren't going to budge. So keep that in mind. They'll repel the water enough, but watercolor painted on top will sink and flow around and underneath them. If you put just a light sketch of these pencils, you can then watercolor in. And once it's dry, you can go back on top with more colored pencils. Overall, I've been enjoying them and I'm going to upgrade to the 24 set once I get low on these ones. I'm flipping through. This page was done using the pomegranate pencil specifically, just to show some sketches. I'm going back in as well and using the orange flower. So it's a mix of the pomegranate pencil, the red, yellow, and pink, and the orange flower, which is yellow and two shades of orange, one of which is more reddish and one which is more of an orangey orange. These pencils are amazing at freeing up your mind to do random sketches. Without gathering any reference or having much of a plan, I'm using the Forest Violets pencil just to sketch out some sort of random bird. Part of this challenge was just to work extremely quickly because I was just trying to see what I could do if I worked very quickly, very loosely, without any preparation or anything. And in the end, I don't really like this bird. Since even doing this picture, I've gone over it a bit more to make it look a bit better, but the anatomy is quite wonky and I don't really like the wings in particular and the head isn't my favorite, but I think the beak and the depth of it, the way the legs recede into space, the perspective is good. But there are many things about this picture that make it not my favorite. At the same time, it's still an example of using the pencils. That's why I switched pages here and went on to something else. As I needed to work on a coaddle picture for something I was working on, I decided to do some coaddle sketches. In general, coaddles are very rainbow colored and I like them a lot. So with all these different colored of pencils, I was thinking a good thing to do would be to draw some feathered rainbow serpent guardians. That way I can get a design or general idea ready for the coloring book page I was working on that would involve coaddles. Although the coaddles themselves will be colored in by different people, hopefully if the book sells, many different colors and variations, I decided to do the initial sketch more the classic version of the coaddle I think of. Although I like to do lots of different versions of coaddles. I've done magma coaddles and zephyr coaddles and I think there was a botanical coaddle I did as well, one that was flowery and leafy and plant-like. And it's really interesting to do different variants. There's also different variants of quaddles I've seen done in different mythologies as well, and different game books for different tabletop role-playing games. In general, I was thinking about how I could put a sort of feather frill or mane of feathers around the head, and I wanted to have an interesting tail that was more unique to what I'd seen before. Although in the final artwork, I end up going more with the top sketch I did here. I was thinking a little bit about an Archaeopteryx-like tail here, and I just roughly sketched in some wings sort of receding below the body on this one. Just a general idea. And not overthinking it too much. I'm going in with all sorts of different pencils here that are rainbow color, and even working on some designs and ideas for the wing. But it's just some rough ideas for further artworks in general here. I also darken things up with the brown, as you can see, and I had some general ideas for just the random poses they could be flying. After doing the math, it turns out I paid $28.30 for this in Canada, which was $2.17 per pencil. That means I should buy the 24 set when it's $52 or less, so I'm not spending more money per pencil. Once again, that's all for this video. If you like my videos, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to all notifications so you will know when a new video comes up. I aim for new videos every Wednesday, but sometimes life happens and things are delayed. I hope that you enjoyed this video and will see you with another one very soon.